Joshathan, like made Joshathan his money, made him that game one victory that he did take in the winner's finals. It was his reckless aggression, for lack of better phrase. He's When he holds forward and gets in Sinji's face, well, yes, that does kind of feed directly into Sinji's game plan, but you also have to play to both your own and your character's strengths. And hold, pressing forward, getting these F tilts, spacing out, uh, spacing out up tilts, and forcing Sinji to try and play out of the corner and not just play in the corner, like, you're going to be feeding into Mithra's game plan a whole lot better than if you were to try and adapt to Sinji's pace. I think the big thing that Josh, Josh Shathin, I'm going to just keep saying Josh, I keep stuttering over it. Uh, the big thing that Josh has to do is, I mean, not get ledge trapped there, I've got it, but that's, that's just, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, he needs to establish some kind of shield pressure. He has been letting Sinji kind of camp and shield a lot. Uh, yeah, you don't get a whole lot out of grabs, but you can forward throw or you can position Sinji up against the wall with the grabs. So you need to find ways to get Sinji to start swinging out of shield. After he gets grabbed a bunch, he's going to want to swing at Nair, he's going to want to swing at Ferris. That's when you expose that. You just you jump up, you hit him with the down air, you find ways to make Sinji fear you. Because right there, once again, Sinji, it, I mean, he's on a platform facing a forwarder, so he's going to hold shield. But right there, there has been nothing to make Sinji fear not holding shield, so why would he ever want to move? Because he knows downer is coming. You need to make it so Sinji actually respects it, then you can find your KOs. That time, though, just find Sinji running straight at him with that back air. Yeah, I mean, you can raw back air anyone. Like, he's obviously approaching this matchup. Uh, Jasper, I mean, he's, or not Jasper, he's a, Sinji is approaching this matchup as if it is Lucina, in which he's got plenty of ex experience against Lucina. Sure it's like, okay, like, you're gonna swing your sword air, you're gonna swing your sword at me, you're gonna do all of these buttons, all these uh, low percent combos. But at the end of the day, if I hold shield, I don't feel nearly as scared. Even if I do get grabbed, that's fine. Like, you're not gonna kill me off of it, you'll get positioning, but overall like you're a whole lot more worried about what i'm gonna do to you especially with on ledge and that's just kind of unfortunate <laughs> yeah i didn't even think i was gonna <laughs> snipe the lights like that but you poked your head above it that's actually a really good way to think about going about the matchup right how many times do i gotta say it how many times do i gotta say it don't <laughs> interact with if sinji has galaga move your ass to center stage yeah you can hold shield all you want you're gonna get hit but <laughs> um that, approaching it the same way you would approach Lucina with, you know, worse recovery because Dolphin Slash will actually snap the ledge and landing aggressively like that at a disadvantage a bunch of times while he's at KO ain't gonna work. So, uh, again, high sight 2020 moment. Uh, you could say, hey, you shouldn't have swung there, but I mean, you did it. It is what it is. Uh, Sinji has really kind of dissected everything about not only Justin's disadvantage state Ooh, but i mean look at that like how look at that one two three three times in a row josh decided to swing while trying to get on landing i actually know the first one was air dodge second one yeah. air dodge got blown up so you tried to nair the platform but sinji doesn't need to approach you on platform so you're trying really hard to mix it up and sinji just called it out correctly there, three times see there there it is the double jump was taken with that up there it just playing good playing good offense Dub no double jump what's a man what's a man to do but try and land with Nair, caught. Again, burnt, no, no, he didn't use his yeah. double jump that time because he immediately learned and then immediately got punished. Like, Sinji's just one step ahead. There's a uh, kind of a almost, I won't say stubbornness, but there, there's an issue with a lot of people where they're kind of afraid to just go to the ledge. Like, yeah, you're gonna have to face a ledge trap, but if you've been hit three times in a row on your landing, might be a good idea to go to the ledge. Um, so. We'll see if Josh kind of adjusts to that in these follow-up games, but right now, Sinji, I'm, I'm if I'm a Sinji fan, if I'm looking at this, I got money on Sinji, I'm feeling good because Sinji is once again, he's camping in shield, kind of in his face. Uh, he's got, he's getting big damage. Like, <laughs> yes, yes, exclamation point ledge, please. <laughs> ledge is friend. Uh, <laughs> thank you, UBL, for that. Uh, it, it is, it's one of those situations again where you see Sinji's basically the immovable wall and you can't, and you can't break it down. Um, even with the KO power, even with the frame data, uh, you have to have a good mix-up game, otherwise you are not going to break the defense that is Sinji. Yeah, there's a reason why there's, like, Pac-Man or uh, a lot of these, like, zone or trapper characters get the most counterplay developed uh, quickly, is because they're so hard to approach and you have to maximize so much out of so little. Like, mm -hmm. counterplay, for the, for the immediate comparison, sorry to cut you off, uh, counterplay to Steve, 
was like, oh, when his his up tilt spam like is on a repeat cadence, so you can parry it every time. Yeah, that gets figured that... out because it's frustrating to deal with. Yeah, the same thing that... with back. Rip. Don't don't go to center stage. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> Look at what you took. You took 49. <laughs> you could have been much worse. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I, I, I will keep me. doing I will keep yeah. screaming it to people who fight Sinji or any Pac-Mans as long as possible. That that option coverage was insane. Covered the covered the tech, covered the, the, the regular like get up. But I, I just want somebody to go back and look and count how many times Sinji has swung with an air or a forward out of shield. This we've we've only seen literally two uppies out of shield and they were out of this game. Like Right. There hasn't been a single time where Sinji's been uncomfortable. And I even mean to keep saying it like it's a broken record to kind of make it sound like I'm being biased against Sinji because I'm not. I'm actually very, like, I'm praising Sinji's defense. It's just Sinji has found the win con, and it's quite literally run-up shield. He's playing Smash Force neutral, which was all run-up shield <laughs> here in Ultimate. Yeah, and I mean, you can still kind of play that game if you have good out of shield. Like, having out of shield options in general in this game is incredibly important. There's a reason why moves like Game Watch Up B are considered like one of, if not the best move in the game because it does it all and it does it out of shield. Yeah, and you can act out of it too. That is definitely a contender for a best move for sure. That back air on the fire hydrant it ain't one of the best moves, but it's one of the best things for that situation. Now, oh, yeah. Galaga in hand. Oh, watch the, f okay. He ended up breaking the fire hydrant. You gotta watch out for the, um, the water jet set up there too, because I will swing that thing right back at you. Oh, it's just... Oh, no, he so got the jab lock, but he overspaced it. It's so much so quickly. Like, Mithra's combo game and Mithra's uh, juggling has been really on point for Josh Thing. Like, he's been really, really good on hit most of the time. But with a combination of Sinji uh, playing out of shield and Sinji's just, like, one indiv uh, big individual hits mattering that much more, like, these juggles that should net Mithra, like, a solid advantage or even a lead have just been mitigated to the point where they just don't matter. Like, Sinji takes the 30 to 35% with a smile on his big... Uh, with a smile on his face and it's okay. Now we get to play neutral again. I've taken my 30% tax as is per ultimate. <laughs> oh, I, I kind of like that idea, but it, it's a bit reckless when you're at KO percent on last stock. Uh, try, just trying to find some type of answers. And you are a pirate. You have the ability to run this game back. It's just that, uh, like, with the weights. Oh, here we go. Back. Oh, just misses the back here. So that could have been it right there. Sinji's looking very primed to get this to two games up. Uh, Sinji's gonna cover, yep, cover everything. And you got the tech up and away, and luckily you fell out of the downer, because if you didn't, you would've been done. And that back throw is not enough just yet. It is a, not the strongest back throw. That no, will not, not do it still, attack. though. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> kill screen after kill screen. What? When will it end? It that ends sure with looks the sour after you got hit by that, too. <laughs> The lime coming in. Um, I thought it was a melon. Is it a melon? I thought it was a melon. I don't yeah, know. It's definitely a melon. Yeah, that's right. definitely it. That's right, a melon. Bro. Well, it might as well have been a lime because that shit looks sour. But <laughs> look at look at her To face. be fair, melons like, are bitter. Ah! <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, you're right though. It is significantly bitter. Nobody. Sh but again, can you imagine how rude that would be if like Pac-Man was just throwing like limes as well <laughs> at your face? <laughs> it's like <laughs> I could see it. Um, World War Three will not if, be fought with guns, but with lemons. You figure after all these years of casting Pac-Man, I would memorize all of his fruits too, but no, we're not perfect. Nope. All right, so chat, it Hi, is chat. possibly the last game, and it ah, is probably is. the last game because we haven't seen this one at all yet. Uh, I have no idea how practice this is for Josh. However, it is- This Rob. is his main. Okay, all right, cool. So this is a- this is a solid character to go for in this matchup as long as you play it right. You need to control the pace of the game uh, in the right ways, using gyros in the right moments and forcing Sinji to not be able to set up. Because if you can keep Sinji from setting up, you force Sinji to approach. Sinji knows this matchup. He's played Dill a thousand times over. He's played plenty of Robs too. But if we can see Josh get a good tempo control, win at ledge, uh, possibly find grabs. I mean, this is the character to do it. If you want to establish grab pressure, you got the KO throws and you got the down throw to up air strings. You need to be able to put that on. Yeah, I mean, if there's any reason to go for a Rob, it's the feeling that, hey, I can't play enough 
I can't put enough in-your-face pressure in this uh, right now. Like, just Sinji's defense is too good. He's snaring me at every point. Like, what do I do? Well, when going a character like Rob, you have full screen pressure. You have auto stage control, quote unquote, with gyro, and you have much more, uh, much more effective means of killing, thanks to uh, powerful edge guards. Uh, that downer being a crazy two frame, like or just all these tools that work in ways that you couldn't. But it doesn't matter when you get caught by you get caught arm rotating like a fool. I don't, I don't I see. That's the funny thing, right? It's like I don't even think that was necessarily. Like, it wasn't the smartest option in the world, but I kind of get the idea behind it. You put Yugo for arm rattle to, to reflect. But the fact that Sinji saw through that. <laughs> like, Sinji, it's like, hmm, you possibly are going to go for the one reflector option you have. That should be his... Oh, never mind. Went for down smash. I think up smash would have actually picked him up from the ground there. That would have KO'd. But... Yeah, normally you see, like, down angled F smash, but hey, six All frames, right. everybody. <laughs> that That's how long is... that spike's active that for, and it's, uh, it's pretty good. All right, here we go. Even in the backup, so life is still in favor of Josh. It's already looking a bit better. Uh, granted, taking a bit of damage right now from a couple, couple mistake landings, but that's okay. It happens to everybody. What do you do about ledge get up though? Get Galaga doesn't kill you on that throw. There you go. Get a big, a bit aggressive. He's almost letting the water push him around as a oh means of God. staying safe. Come on. Just if that was Josh calculated, Sinji. like, Sinji, you got it, dude. I believe, it, I believe they're all calculated. Like, Sinji straight up caught this man with Apple into... Oh, all right. Thank uh, you, yeah, Trent. That's one way to get out of down tilt strings. Uh, your booster jets are halfway gone. He's going to keep throwing the jets. Oh, okay. He's very lucky he got that timing. And the forward smash. Okay, hold up. Josh yeah, the thing. Uh, don't get hit. They're, 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 they're angel saying, don't get hit. That's all it is. Kind of gave Sinji a taste of his own uh, medicine. Uh, just saw Sinji coming down, already used his double jump, so I'll block it and punish out of shield with this bell you so graciously mm -hmm. provided me. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, thank you. Um, look, <laughs> Thank you, Apple. Rob, I'm not sure if you're aware, but you don't actually eat fruits. Um, I know you want to be a sentient human being, possibly, but you probably shouldn't be trying to eat the apples. Um, I, I highly dis I highly don't recommend. Forward smash? Yep. <laughs> that is the, that is always, like, whenever you see that string go off, just ready, get ready for a forward smash. Uh, he's lucky he didn't get hit by the sweet spot of it. Now he's going to get hit by downer as he goes off stage when he forced him low. Oh, never mind. He actually went high. It's a smart call. I thought he was going to go over there. No, I mean, he's been kind of getting burned every time he goes low, so now you have a more effective option to go high, completely avoid not only uh, the hydrant uh, the hydrant drop, but also the ledge entirely. It sounds pretty good. You just need to make something out of it, and Sinji at this percent is going to be pretty calmly winning. He's yep. calmly winning. <laughs> He's pretty calmly <laughs> taking that money from Josh's pocket. Uh, Sinji takes it in a 3-0. the and um, the rage quit. <laughs> Oh, oh, DC. No. <laughs> no, come on. Don't do that. Oh, yeah. uh, it was a good set. It was a 3 0. Uh, and you, we can't say it was exactly close because, I mean, that it, some of those games were two stocks, I, if I, I recall correctly. But the whole like point of playing against high level players is to not only like try to win, but you know afterwards you're going to have a lot to learn from. So, like, Sinji broke you apart because he knew that you're offense was rather limited in a lot of cases or just rather predictable in others so mm -hmm. now yeah, you know I, like ways to mix up i mean i like the rob a lot better um i, I do i do still think that pyra mithra have a legitimate shot of being an annoying matchup for that character so i don't think that necessarily was a bad idea but the rob looked better uh in that last game maybe see it a bit more in the future see if things can change up uh but unfortunately at the end this game in this tournament was sponsored by morton salt it happens uh you get a little bit mad and you decide to dip out and you go ahead and put a little bit too much on your pork chops to get mad about it uh but